Stand on the pole is the next thing we're going to try. You're still going to use the fireman legs. So using your hands is the beginner level. Uh, letting go of your hands once you're up there would be the intermediate or advanced level. Try both. Try one. Do whatever you feel comfortable doing. Just be safe. If my right hand is high, my left foot is my hook. I'm going to stand and get in my meaty bits. So if you're going to use the hands, the hands are in lock off. If you're not going to use the hands, your pole is right up against you. And you can see where it lines up behind your legs. So it's three, two, one. Use your hands to get back down again. Second side is not my strong side, so I will probably use my hands. So I'm going to go ahead and have my left hand high, right climbing hook, get up and in. And I do have a decent grip today, so we're going to go three, two, one. Notice that I'm right up against. I'm not leaning away. Notice that there is a decent bend in my knees to make sure I'm getting enough surface area along my leg to hold me to the pole. You've all been introduced to the shoulder mount grip either through shoulder mount your, either through shoulder mount itself or through the hinge kick slide that we started to work on last month at the beginning level. We're going to practice the shoulder mount in a hold by just trying to lift our feet off of the floor. So I'm going to do this sideways so you can see exactly where I'm positioned. So if my right shoulder's on the pole, I would like my right hand high. My head is to the left side of the pole. I am looking at the ceiling. So I'm on the meaty part of my shoulder I'm not up here on my collarbone. I'm not out here on the outside of my blade. I'm not in next to my spine. Just tip your head back and where the pole hits is where you want to be. My neck is right next to the pole. I am going to squeeze my elbows in together and down just like lock off but at a different angle. So in and down. The other thing is, if your hands are too close to your face, you won't get any leverage. If your hands are too high, you won't have enough strength. What you want to do is feel where when you squeeze your elbows together and pull your hands in a little bit or down a little bit, it can lift your heels off of the floor. I'm going to start on my toes at a slight diagonal, I'm not standing right next to the pole, at a slight diagonal away from the pole. I'm leaning on my shoulder for support. While I get my hands into place, I'm going to squeeze my elbows in and down, and then I'm going to bow, two, three. You're just lifting your toes off the floor, you're not kicking. So now from the other side, I'm going to be up on my toes, slight diagonal away from the pole, leaning into my shoulder. Opposite hand high to the side my head is on, or the hand high matches the shoulder that I am on. I squeeze my elbows in and down, and it's one, two, three. I'll take one second. I'll take just getting used to lifting your toes off the floor. Anything is a good thing here. It will push in to your shoulder muscle. So if you carry stress in your shoulders, if you have any knots in your shoulders, you are going to feel it. Take a break. Try it again. The next one is going to be an invert practice. So I'm going to do it at a slight diagonal to the camera. Invert hands. 
you see my hip is in front of the pole. I'm going to direct my knee towards the pole or around its own elbow. I am leaning into the pole. My other hand comes above. I squeeze my elbows in and down for lock off. And I lift for one, two, three. Second side, hip is in front of the pole. Good chicken wing squeeze. Remember the knee is going to direct around its own elbow. I'm leaning sideways and it squeeze the elbows in and down for one, two, three. For the advanced level on the froggy invert, you would do basically the straddle back and try to hold it without um, grabbing the pole with your feet. So you're still gonna start the same way. You're gonna bring that knee up. This time you're gonna have to control the elbow release on the back. So we come up and one, two, three. Remember your elbows don't go completely straight and or locking of the elbows. There is still a small pull or a small bend so that you are pulling from your biceps, your triceps, and your back muscles. Second side, we bring that knee up, we lift, the froggy comes up, and the straddle goes. One, two, three. My hand started to slip on that one. Okay, that is the advanced version for the straddle hold froggy hold, froggy invert, straddle invert, whatever you want to call it. We are going to go back to the shoulder mount grip, but we're going to be on the floor. And you are going to try to lift into a shoulder handstand. Once again, if the hands are too high or too low, you won't have the right leverage to roll up into the shoulder handstand. Also, make sure you keep your chin tucked a little bit if you feel as though you're going to hit your collarbone. So I'm going to come down. Once again, it's still going to be opposite hand high to the side that my head is resting on. I prefer to sit up a little bit. You may not. You're going to bring your knees in and then they're going to go up or to the straddle. So in and straddle. My elbows are squeezing in and down. Or now I can go up, which is infinitely harder to go up. So once again, I don't know if you can see, it's probably, I don't know, I think my, my hands are probably about 18 inches from my face. I'm going to squeeze my elbows in and down again. My knees are going to go around their own elbows. Once my hips lift, I will extend into the straddle. So it's one, two, three. And make sure when you come back down, Use your abdominals to come back down. Don't just plop back down on the floor. Switching sides. We'll see how this goes. This is definitely not my strong side. So we're going to go ahead and go for the knees and the straddle. So it's one, two, three, and back down. Remember, I squeeze in and pull down as well as engaging a crunch in my abs to go ahead and lift. I have a little furry helper who's not necessarily helpful. She's probably going to try to jump on my stomach. So I'm going to bring my knees in to start so I can go into that handstand position. So I'm going to pull in and down and lift up two, three, and then lower back down again. 
Second side. Elbows are squeezing. <laughs> and there he is. I guess this is my extra dumbbell. He's gonna, we're gonna see if he jumps when I move. We're gonna bring the knees in. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. He moved. Good. Bring the knees in. Curl up and lift. Two, three. Where is he? Where is he? You almost got squished. <laughs> He's not really helpful at all. Nope, not helpful. He thinks that when we're sitting on the ground, it's all about him. Okay, it is time to move to our next level of strength training. Thank you.